Well, still no official word as to why New York City Police Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell is stepping down, but there has been a lot of speculation surrounding her abrupt resignation after being in the position for just under a year and a half. Joining us now is Jillian Snyder, a former NYPD officer, now adjunct, adjunct lecturer at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Uh, Jillian, thanks so much for joining us. So when Sewell was named police commissioner, she made headlines as the first woman to lead the department. As a former NYPD officer yourself, what's your reaction to her stepping down? Well, thank you for having me. Um, I was really, really upset when I heard the news. Um, I wasn't at all surprised, though, and that's unfortunate. Um, we've seen over the last 18 months, Police Commissioner Sewell's been battling to be able to leave the department, and unfortunately, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, this is still, as we said, no yeah. official word, but obviously lots of speculation along those lines, much of it revolving around the tight grip the mayor and his administration reportedly had over her decisions, getting tighter in recent weeks as yeah. well, we hear. Do you get the sense that that's what was going on? I do think there was some internal contention. Um, anyone looking from the outside in, watching press conferences on television, you generally see Mayor Adams up there wearing his NYPD windbreaker, um, kind of just leading the charge, and oftentimes police commissioner stools off to the side, sometimes not even there. So, you know, from an outsider's perspective, it would always look like Mayor Adams is the one being representative of the police department. Yeah, I mean, her resignation comes as a really critical point in the department. You know, the NYPD came out with stats saying that homicides, shootings are down. But then there was a federal monitor report uh, that, that basically said stop and frisk tactics are still being used, especially among people of color. So with that all said, what does the future of the department look like? I think right now the department is in a bit of a... They're a little nervous because, you know, whenever we have a change at the top, all of the rank and file officers that are out there every day, they're kind of concerned with who's going to be leading them, who is going to have their back in times of crisis, who's going to ensure that their safety is at the forefront, that, you know, we're managing relationships with the community in a positive way. Those are all things Police Commissioner Sewell had vowed to make priority. So I think right now we have to wait and see who's going to be the new police commissioner in the coming weeks or coming months and be hopeful that Mayor Adams allows that person to do their job, operate with some autonomy, and lead this great department. Right, and when you talk about filling that position and potential hires, do you think the people who might be in the running for it view Mayor Adams' background as an uh, NYPD officer as a positive or a negative, especially in light of what happened with Keyshawn Sewell? I would think that his prior experience is critical and vital to be able to collaborate mm -hmm. with the next police commissioner. I think that's what I always imagined that relationship to be. The mayor appoints the police commissioner and together in partnership, they come up with solutions to run this department. But that's not how it's come across for the last 18 months. It seems like, just again, this is me looking in from the outside. I retired almost three years ago. I've just always seen it to be Mayor Adams pulling the strings and Police Commissioner Sewell not being able to do what she was appointed to do. Well, very helpful insight, Jillian Snyder. We appreciate you coming on the show and sharing. Thank you so much.